About it, I think is the child's approach to how they are learning and the lesson. Um, they like using the networks, they like having that technology. It's ideal for us, especially with the VLE, using that together because really you can upload anything you want possible from videos, worksheets, DVDs, and with PE, it's fantastic to be able to learn from the perfect model. So to have a video there and then they can watch it and analyze it is excellent. Well, in PE, we, what we're doing now is we're using them to evaluate our partners and how they're using their bilingual skills. And to see if they're accurate and uh, successful. Okay, run the problem. If you're off with me, it's 26 v 6 at the time. If you're off with me, that's when we'll have the Okay? If not, we're trying to show off our best we can. If it's a deal, I like ICT because you go on different applications, different applications like Scratch and Bamboo PS. And we're, we're making logos in our last project for different charities. I love to use it as evaluating and improving, which is one of our key processes that we teach through. And that's anything from gymnastics to dance to badminton to volleyball, which we've been using today. It gives them a real chance to think about uh, how to improve, how to tell people what went well, even better if. And by writing it up, and each week they can then check their progress. I think it makes it more authentic too, because if they're using netbooks in every subject, then yours is also included in that. So it's really good from that point of view. Make sure you write your nice small sentences, please. Well, we use our laptops with the VLE because sometimes we get homework to upload or support applications open. Well, we use um, Photoshop. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm doing Photoshop. Teachers like trust us. They don't like say what what are you on. They just they just say what to do and then they just let us get on with it. Well, what's good about it? People said because she did the board well. Because we're getting over the net. The netbooks have changed the way we learn because like it's like giving us computer knowledge and like we understand what to do. They're obviously ideal to carry around, they don't impact on a PE lesson very much at all. You can bring them in, in their cases, and then have them at the side of the room and they won't get damaged too often, <laughs> we hope. Uh, but they're pretty much safe and secure at the side of so it's, it's a really good thing to have in the lessons and it helps learning. Can you calculate on your computer if you wish? But you might not want to get him in his. Uh, uh. Um, Netbooks have been great because um, 
They've allowed pupils to interact with the software, looking at maths in a different uh, light, with a different from a different perspective. Where are those values come from? Hey, look. Right, you completed when you started. things I enjoy most about our networks is that we get to like do our homework on there, so it seems a bit more modern. Like compared to other schools, they don't have the privilege to have netbooks, but unlike us, we can use it in like every lesson. <laughs> what you need to do is make sure you select just the side of the See this side's on dark? So now if you go right click object properties, uh, show values, you should now. So when I take the side, it's a bit easier to use a netbook and a lot of the different tasks that we can use on. Yeah, I do use my notebook for homework, so let's say if we have to do a research task, I won't go to the library and grab a book, I'll just go on my netbook and Google it. So you on the side, you see the size by that? In the maths, when there's a problem and I don't really know how to solve it, I would go on um, the internet and like look at like different websites so that it would be easier rather than going to a teacher and finding them. You can just get easy access on your network. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I use my netbook for schoolwork, mainly. So let's say if we have to do a task, or let's say if we have to do we have to do a presentation or something, I'd I'd definitely use my netbook just to improve it and make it look a lot nicer. It does help because, like, for example, we have my maths, and in our spare time, we can use that to like improve our mathematical skills. I think that it makes um, our schoolwork more exciting because, like, we can like customize it better. Like, we can use like PowerPoint and like design it, and it just makes it a lot better. <laughs> I've been to the laptop shop before and I think they were very helpful because when my netbook broke, they gave me a replacement straight away. It's because you're selecting the triangle and not the size specifically. Okay, you can see it's just one, just that size. So much effort. Um, they also enable pupils to work at their own pace and they can uh, have feedback straight from the, the software which enables them to um, discover new maths that normally wouldn't necessarily be able to do so. I think maths is quite an enjoyable lesson and I like the fact that once you, for your homework, let's say if you're doing it, you don't have to wait till your teacher marks it, you can literally just mark it straight away. quite a lot now for the BLE homeworks. So the children can log on and then they we give them a web page with an artist's research and they can submit their homework via their own netbooks. And this means that not only are we not wasting their money on printing and having bits handed in, they get lost. They're learning to research themselves, they have to form opinions. They learn to you know, correct the spellings and things, we encourage them to do it on Word and then to copy and paste it back. So the virtual learning environment has been really useful for the netbooks. People that are jotting notes now in the back of their sketchbook. Some people have written notes in Word as well, so that's great. Well done for those people. Uh, I use my netbook for homework, like using the VLE and internet sites in science and stuff like that, and main subjects.
Yeah, I like using them in lessons because it's a lot more freedom than having to like write down um, stuff. Um, like you can use um, lots of different stuff in it and it's a lot easier than in writing stuff down and at home it's really nice because I get to use it in my room rather than having to do my homework on my paper. Hey, remember you said, Boone, if you tell me that you like the sculptures, I'm going to ask you to give me an opinion of why you like them. Okay, especially... Oh, I use my little for homework, like using the VLE and internet sites in science and stuff like that, and main subjects. PowerPoint or Word to do like posters and things for different subjects. Um, and you use the school um, VLE site and lots of other like, things. Uh, now I just want you on the pictures, you jump to step ahead. It's just on the page that I'm going to do. Jack! Um, I mostly use my netbook for homework. I sometimes play games on it, but um, it's most of all doing research and things for different um, subjects. Okay, I've got some little opinions being formed. Some people are using words and signs that will also help you with practice. We use our notebooks in there and off every lesson. There's some exceptions, but in every lesson we use the veil. <laughs> The VLA. It's um, the I think the lesson that we use the netbook the most in is citizenship. Yeah, With most of the uh, like um, sites that you can use, it automatically comes up on the VLA first. <laughs> makes it um, like easier to um, to catch up on the work if you are behind. Let's see. No. What do you think you might be inspired by? Well, um, maybe like pine cones. Mm. Yeah, lovely. So pine cones, things of that sort of shape. There were sort of egg shapes. Probably the most used application is Microsoft Word. Sometimes we use Publisher and PowerPoint and that's and we use that in like to make either like a multiple slide lesson recap or a poster. I like um, I like the sculptures better and I like the because they're like earthy and they like some of them like they're like opened up so they look like they've got fossils and things. Oh fossils, that's a really good word. We as also well. use RMS Connect for homework. Quite a lot of the Mostly it's to print off homeworks or or posters or things, but um, we do sometimes use it in lessons. Like we used it in French to upload something so the teacher could look at it. Um, obviously, a lot of the kids don't have access to laptops and laptops and things at home, so it's been great for getting them, particularly for art, we use a lot of the tape snapshot videos, so in lessons I can show them a video of an artist, or they can look it up for their homework and can say, right, watch this video about the artist, and when they come in the next lesson, they can be ready to talk about them. Also, for picking up research for pictures, it's just been really helpful, and in the lessons, getting to research artists, sometimes techniques that we're using, instead of me standing in the and explaining to them, sometimes then just being off. When they're able to engage with it themselves in the networks, they get more excited about it and use them to, to benefit really. So for research in art and for learning about different techniques for new artists, for finding images, um, particularly for the older ones as well, for GCSE and um, even in year nine when they're researching artists and finding images. To be able to not have to put computer in to choose the lessons, it's just a lot.
worry, just the two at the back there. Don't worry about the rest of you getting the right. market. We tend to use the profile pages to keep track of students' work and the comments that are made back to them so they can have a constant feedback stream and then they can also have hyperlinks to pieces of work that they do. So if you happen to, um, if you have that, the Charles Dickens page in one tab, if you get your profile in another tab. We use them for homework and uh, during, during class when we're, we're allowed to use it and we can uh, up, uh, upload blogs uh, about our re reading books uh, w which we read and uh, e everybody can access these blogs and this can help, help everyone in their uh, reading. <coughs> The netbook has changed the way I learn because normally I just do it on some paper or something and that's a bit boring. But if you do it on a computer it seems a bit more exciting. changed uh, my, my life uh, during, during school time because uh, norm, normally I would just do my homework in my book or, or, or at home on the computer and, and now I can do it any, uh, anywhere I want because the netbook is portable and uh, I can take it anywhere I want. I've used the laptop shop once because I forgot my password for the VLA and they were very helpful. I enjoy do, doing maths, uh, like tests and help and re revision links because then they are really helpful and uh, you, you, you can only access them on the, on the internet and on the VLA and in in order to go on the VLE, you need to have a school password, with, with, which comes with the netbook, and I really enjoy doing that. There are some particular applications that we use in class, and uh, these are um, Scratch, which we use in ICT, um, which is like the computer programming thing, but you use a little character instead, which is a cat. and. Um, the internet a lot because there is a lot of things that you can do on the internet. Mm. Just make sure that you can always see. Do you know how it works? Um, the QR codes that we started to use are mainly for the parents. Um, so we've got a QR code for a homework page so the parents can keep track of what homework they're getting. And we've also got a QR code for their profile page so the parents can see hyperlinks to pieces of work, what comments have been made and potentially some improvements that they might make to some pieces of work. Have a look. Um, on here, uh, you've literally, would I be exaggerating if I said we've got at least 50 things on there in terms of features? No. no. More? All right. Okay. I think um, the netbooks have added a, a new dimension to the uh, pupils' learning. Uh, it's definitely made them a lot more independent. I think um, using the learning device alongside, say, the VLE. 
Um, we're, we're moving the lesson from inside the classroom to anywhere really. Oh my God. <laughs> Kicks or something the media like like what social media Okay guys, this way please. You never heard what I think the netbooks have changed the way that I learn because they they um make it easier and for us to write instead of with just pen and paper. And it's got a research tool. Uh, I think the way the netbook has changed my learning is it's a lot more useful to get information to do your homework. And it's better than your average homework. And uh, you've got the whole internet, so you know you get all the knowledge you need off the internet. So and there's lots of different programs that make doing your homework a lot more easier. More of like, rather than to like draw out a poster, you can just do it on like production. Teachers have populated the VLE with a whole range of um, resources across the curriculum really from performing arts to PE to maths to English and so all the schemes of work are there which enables the pupils to, to, to learn when they're ready really and if they're not sure about something they, they can always go back, if they're away from school they can always access the resources so it really is a 24, 24 hour school. We've got on this particular canvas as opposed to the previous one about mobile phones. I'll just uh, shout them out for you. Um, most advanced computer ever, all right? Mine. Remember, cool websites, process stuff, learn and achieve your full potential. Uh, phones don't have a brain. Um, it uh, connects to your body, to how you move and breathe. How do, what, how's what we've got on the, that particular canvas differ to the um, one about mobile phones? Look at that. We don't know the complete pictures of our brain yet. You do know, in comparison to the mobile phone though, which one would you say you know more about? Probably the mobile phone. Yeah, and you're wincing at me at that one. There's a bit of embarrassment, isn't there? That we seem to know more about the mobile phone than we do our own brain. Um, the resources um, we've also found are very useful if they're open source as well. Uh, in today's lesson, for example, I used uh, Linoit, which is a uh, really electronic post-its which again um, opens up collaboration really between pupils um, where they don't physically have to write that on a post-it they can do it electronically uh, and again those post-its are available to the pupils at home so again it's a really good idea in terms of open source um, software. What usually come with? Charger. A box. A box and in the box it would have charger, phones, case, a SIM card, an instruction manual. An instruction manual. We got there. Brilliant. Brain likes to be challenged, all right? Brain likes to be used. Brain likes to be used. So, get the idea. There's some exercise involved in here. Brain exercise. Yep. It's like a big telephone. It's like a big telephone. Uh, how is it like a big telephone? It says, "This is like a huge telephone exchange." I've had to use the laptop shop quite a few times to deal with um, when the internet wasn't working or when it needed updating and they've been very helpful. The laptop shop has been helpful to me because as, even though I've only had to use it once, it's provided a substitute for when I needed my laptop in the Generally, I think the pupils are much more engaged as well in the lessons. Um, it's an environment which they're very familiar with in terms of social networking and the use of digital technology. And really what we're doing is uh, making it more open, if you like, within the school. We can give to other people so that we learn more about um, different features of the brain. The next lessons, we'll go and look at different parts of the brain. We find the netbooks really useful um, for current affairs and geography. At the moment, the pupils are learning about the uh, typhoon in Philippines. Yeah.
The activities that I enjoy the most on my network is like um, going on YouTube and having that time to be able to do things like that. And then I do like using the VLE because uh, to submit homework and things like that because it saves you having to print off or um, writing things out. Don't have to. Your, your independence you're working through. Using this, build that. But you want to start During lessons, we might go on the VLE and submit a homework or do research for assessments coming up. Or um, when we go home, we might use it for homework or just for free time. Well, I've just got the template. I'm, I'm pretty much the same as those boxes, but you're going to need the template at some point, so that's a good suggestion. To have that open as well, so you know what eventually your finished product is going to contain. And so. <laughs> yeah. um, I look forward to using my laptop inside and outside of school because. Um, of how we can just you find it easy to work on them so instead of just writing day by day I, so you can type or use different effects in them. During lessons we use applications like um, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and we also use it really and it gives us a chance to write our work, do our work um, on the on the website, like work on PowerPoint, and then submit the reasoning to the VLE, so we don't have to hand it in physically, and it's a lot easier and quicker to do. Because you know, it's um, the applications we use in lessons are like the VLE because we submit our homework, or if we we've got a certain topic, we can look for research on certain subjects and see um, like different videos or different worksheets that we can use to uh, make our work better. I found a few groups I've had that have been doing this before have discovered that if, you, if you're trying to put your pictures in and you're copying and pasting from the thumbnails, it doesn't work very well. So if you find a picture that you want, before you copy and paste it into your newspaper, actually click on it and then go to view image and actually copy it from the image rather than the thumbnail. Because what will happen is it will look, it will just look like it hasn't worked. Okay, so copy it from the actual image. Um, we use our netbooks and lessons like geography because we have, it enables us to like do a lot of research for the topics we're doing and be able to keep up with like the, the world because like, of all the news, how it changes. And we use it like when we're writing essays and things like English. Um, I've only had to use a laptop shop, um, I think it was twice. Once when I, because it was my computer, kept doing updates and it wouldn't, it wouldn't update Microsoft. So I had to hand it in and it was done within a couple of hours, so I had that back in a newer time. And my maths wasn't working and when I did hand it in to them, they did it as well I was there. I had to look a few seconds to do it. Sophie's just said something brilliant, I would like you all to do this. She said she didn't want to put the dates in yet because she's still collecting newspapers and watching the news and facts are still changing. That's absolutely right. Seeing as your deadline is until next Friday, if you find something out on Sunday, on Monday, and Tuesday, that's going to affect how um, re the, the, the best dates put in, so it's realistic. And they're able to get onto news um, websites and get real life information, real time, and update their uh, knowledge and understanding. So try and keep up to date with it. That's why you can take those research sheets home. The netbooks um, have really added a new dimension to how we teach using CP, so Visual Camera and P across the board. Um, it's allowed us to take notes in different formats. Um, and also what's interesting is with some of the pupils we find note taking a little bit more challenging and aren't quite as efficient. 
they become very, very good um, at using the netbooks to take notes effectively and then use them for revision and tests and exams. exams. Positively and negatively for the health effects of lifestyle. Because in some of these, there are pros and cons. For smoking, there's obviously not many, there's not really any pros. Uh, what I think about the netbooks is that uh, when, when you use them, they're easy to get information from. We use netbooks in lots of English lessons and we use the DLEs or Word work. What else? We said not too many fats, not too many sugary uh, drinks. What do we say about the balance of the percentages? 50-60% carbohydrates. Yeah, proteins. Around that sort of ballpark. Yeah, okay. So those are the percentages we're looking at. Anyone else? What uh, we, we use our netbooks uh, for in like geography and when you need to, when you're given like, a task to do, you do it and then. Uh, upload it on the uh, Catherine, Aidan, Sam and Liam. Diet. We're going to go back and lend some spare chairs over there by Catherine. Um, Rianne, Shane, no, Shane, Ryan, Alex and Ellis. Recommendations for exercise. Yes. Um, we use Google Maps in geography and we also use the internet and we use Word documents to write out stories and information. We also use my maths to do maths and everyone. Sydney, what are you looking at? Page 29. Read the alcohol section and make sure you've got everything covered. And smoking, page 29 as well. All right, get the exercise book open. I look forward to using the netbook in and outside lessons because when I'm outside of school, I can um, use it for other things apart from work, but in school it's just really useful and it gets the past and the laptop shop is great because when my laptop was broken, they just borrowed me one and then they had a new one for me in the shop. Because you're just to extend it a little bit further, look at ways you can do exercise. And you can do that with some research on the uh, internet. I use a netbook for homework, when I have to write certain essays, or if people upload them to the early, or I can use our connector to send them to the school computers. They're used to taking those with food, but they stop at the exercise, so that balance should oh, yeah. See what I mean? So have a little research on that. Oh, Okay, go on to the VLE if you haven't already. Alright, on to the VLE. When you get onto the VLE, click on courses. Alright, when you get to courses, you need to scroll about this far down. See where my marker is because there's loads in there. About that far down. Alright, and then click on GCSE PE. The right. netbook shows the way that I learn because it gets tasks done much quicker in school and it's just more um, appealing to the kids like that. Uh, the netbook, netbooks have changed the way I've learned because when you do like uh, work that uh, is is hard to do without information, then the internet's not a great help to help and just support you with uh, evidence. Click on B451 instructions to PE as the third word document. Okay. Um, it's also a valuable tool just for people to get on the internet and do loads of research so they can compile their own notes rather than uh, being taught from the front. And it's really allowed them to have ownership over what they know and what they're learning and understanding rather than it being taught by the teacher very much in the front of the class. It should make you straight on, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you have to enroll yourself. I don't know if it's okay. And then if you can load up the assessment presentation, Believing in God, 
or load up and load up your reincarnation one as well. Yeah. Uh, I think the netbook project at Bishop Challenger has, has been really successful. It's um, it's really evolved over the last sort of four or five years. Um, initially, um, it was maybe just more word-based tasks that we were using, but since the, the um, virtual learning environment came on board with it, um, the tasks that we can create for our students just phenomenal, really. When we're doing feedback, okay, when we're doing WWE behinds, okay. Um, I know we've, we've used some of these before, but we're looking at that, that good speaker. So when you get up and you bring up your um, netbook, and you've got to I'm using the netbook for my homework like most times, because I type it up to make it a better standard. Um, it helps me out because I get to check up on all my homework. When you come up to do your presentation, key thing that we're looking at with regards to um, presentation skills are did, was it planned what you're going to say? It's that top box, respecting the views of others, explaining your ideas. So it's not just one word, but you can actually explain it. So when Sinead did it before, she tried to explain just a few pictures, but she tried to explain. Change the world I learn, because I find it much easier to, and more sort of interactive rather than just writing, writing loads on pieces of paper. And I can, I can do various things on my notebook. That's the button to click the presentation. That's your red button. When that green light goes off, okay. Okay. When that green light goes off, you should be ready to go. With a smile, Don. With a smile. Confidence. Okay. Um, does okay. God exist? Does the green light come yeah. on? From an RE perspective, we put every lesson that we've got onto the virtual learning environment, and it means our students can access their learning at home. Parents can access learning as well. Quick question. Just put up your hand if you think he does. Okay, that's most people. <laughs> uh, if you if you don't think he does, put your hand up. Uh, I'm more concentrated in lessons than I'm on the netbook, so I can just focus. And like, it helps me more than writing down a piece of paper. <laughs> Well, I just use it for the really, and um, so like, if I haven't done something, then I'll just go back and do it and like check on what new homework you have. When you're ready. Okay. Reincarnation. What is reincarnation? Reincarnation is basically when someone dies and they come back to Earth either as a different form of living, either an animal or a human. And um, some religions believe in different things, like either karma. And if you were a good person on earth, then you come back to life as... It does make our students so much more independent. Uh, so if you had a child that's missed something or um, is a little bit behind on something, they can go and access it in their own way. And humans, what they do is we, um, we do good so that we can be saved a place in heaven. But if we do bad, then we possibly go to hell. And most, yeah. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get going. Use our netbooks like in every lesson with other meanings like every time. There we go. You had us all an element of surprise there. Um, reincarnation is believed that your soul moves on to another being when you die. Um, what do Christians believe? Christians believe when when we die, we have a second life, but not on the earth. We either go to heaven. Yeah, in mass, we. Use my maths, uh, especially for homework, to um, give the teacher a perspective on what, we're, what level we're working at over the internet. You, James has just said, in his, in his presentation, he's put in that picture, and he said, this is my picture of heaven. Has anybody got a question for James? Oh, um, this is my picture for heaven, because okay. um, I feel like... It's like the stairs and the gods here, and like clouds, and it's all bright and lovely. So what words would you use to describe your heaven then? Cool. Cool, <laughs> just cool? Yeah. Nothing deeper than that? Oh, Lord. Peace I've fun. used the netbook shop like once or twice, but they helped me, and they got me my netbook repairs like fast. You're, you're an atheist, what do you think? No, I wouldn't do this heaven. 
Um, many people have different thoughts and feelings about God, like there's agnostics, people who are not sure if there's a God or not, there's atheists who like just don't believe there's a God and that's it, and it, there's, there's the different religions that many people have. Um, there's different reasons for why people do and don't believe. It could be because they're brought up to believe, like for their families, they go to church and believe family believes when they get older. Here's some more reasons why people do and don't believe in God. I use my netbook in English and we do reading blogs, which are blogs about the books we're reading at that time. Um, we use different websites for uh, science, like key stationary like signs to help us get through it. Um, it also allows them to be um, a bit more creative um, in some of our assessments. We've given the children, our students, freedom to go off and do research tasks, given them marking criteria, um, and then they worked that marking criteria to put their assessment knowledge together. So we look at their key skills, we look at their understanding, their knowledge, and how they can apply them to a presentation. Um, and then they, they present that to the whole class and they incorporate questions to the class, um, they give their own answers, their own opinions. So we're really looking at high order skills and it really is preparing them for, for sort of GCSE and, and that, that high level that we're we'll moving to. Um, so yeah, it's been really, really successful. I'm one of the senior technicians here at the laptop shop, um, which means I've got more responsibilities. Um, I used to be a technician just fixing them, and then um, I was promoted to senior technician, uh, which obviously was a great, almost an achievement, and I get, I get to do a lot uh, more. I have a lot more responsibility with the laptop shop now. Is that really your description? And the hinge snap. I've been doing the netbook scheme since it started uh, for around about five years. We're on the fifth cohort of netbooks. Uh, we currently have ten engineers uh, in year 13 and we are training up ten from year 12. I manage the other technicians and um, use the spreadsheet and database a lot more, which is more admin kind of things. So I know both systems, so it's interesting to have both knowledge of a student borrowing the netbook and fixing it as well. Well, you've got to put it back to where you found it, because if you yeah. put it back together, it doesn't work.
taking it apart until it does work. So you've got to make sure that, you know, it's going to help you guys when you get repairs in. You need to see what the fault is and make sure there's no other faults on the machine. We've done a course over two days to train up the six formers to be able to repair the netbooks. Uh, after that course, they come in and start repairing pretty much right away. Repairing any broken netbooks that come in, we try to turn around of roughly two days from when the netbook comes in. Uh, we've been running the netbook scheme for five years now and it's been very successful. We first started um, having the repairs done through uh, an insurance company. One to repairs were done by the suppliers and it's ended up being more cost effective for us to actually do the repairs in house. <laughs> So we now put our students onto a Toshiba training scheme. We mainly use Toshiba netbooks. Uh, they get a lot out of it from um, learning how to repair the netbooks. And it has become far more cost effective for the school to provide an in house repair service. Yeah. The main is to take the factory out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.